Hello everyone, this is Maniac for Bricks. Every now and then on this channel, I would show a variety of video games that I would collect or a little bit of gameplay and sometimes do room tour updates. But now I'm ready to go into a new area when it comes to video game related videos. Let me introduce you to a new series called Gamecdote, or Gaming Anecdote, matching the two words together. Let's begin! Whoa, 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 Mr. Brick Aficionado. I thought this channel was all about LEGO content. Oh, for a majority of it. But I want people to know that outside of LEGO, I have a couple of hobbies that I keep up with from time to time. In fact, I've actually shown video gameplay on this channel before, and I've even reviewed other toys outside of the LEGO brand. Okay then, <laughs> but don't you have other YouTube channels for all that sort of stuff? Yes, but I wouldn't tap into those channels as frequently as I tap into this one when it comes to making video content. So I thought, why not simplify things and just put some of the, my personal interests together onto one channel, and show them every so often. Mm. Alright, well, if it allows me, Maniac for Games, to still exist, I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, and, um, what's his name, um, our little buddy Maniac for Toys over in the corner. Hi guys! I take care of all the other toys and even some of the TV shows and movies that Joey likes. So with that said, let's go on with our first episode of Gaming Dote, a series in which I go through video games and video game franchises from my point of view. Many times these will be retrospective glimpses on the video games that I grew up with, but some may be more documentary style in how the game shaped me as a gamer. And in today's video, we're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, right! You've known this blue blur for a long time. I remember your first experiences with the original game on a plug-and-play version of the Sega Genesis. In fact, I think Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was on that same version. Yeah, yeah, most people know about the Sega does with Nintendon't rivalry of the 1990s. But it is true, I grew up starting with the 2D Sonic games, and at the turn of the century was able to get them in multiple platforms. Say, why don't we play them again for all of our lovely viewers out there? I mean, you've honed your craft since you last played, am I right? Uh, I don't think we'll have enough time to play all of them on the video. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Afraid of a little water? Mm, quit chemical planting ideas in my head! Ugh, <sighs> sorry everyone. So anyways, I grew up with Nintendo products and usually favored the platforming of Mario games. But my neglect for Sonic changed on the arrival of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It started off with this Nintendo Power Magazine showing the fastest thing alive in a new game on the GameCube. I played that game to death with my brother, taking turns on the story mode and competing in the multiplayer. I drew Sonic artwork here and there, and he became so iconic to me. <laughs> I get it. Iconic Sonic. But wasn't there a Sonic Adventure 1? Well, yeah, obviously, but I played it on the director's cut for the GameCube 2. Graphically, Sonic Adventure 2 was more advanced. Both are equally digestible in terms of plot and characters, and I still have fun playing them over and over to this day. Especially your favorite oh, levels. Say it. Security Hall and <clears throat> Cannon's Core. Stop it! By the way, you forgot to mention Big the Cat's ever-so-loving fishing levels. Ah, don't worry, I'll take it from here. Shortly after, I stumbled upon the official North American website, Sonic Central, and revisited to learn about new games and listen to soundtracks. Yes, I actually liked going through the sound test of Sonic games to listen to the music. How couldn't I? Sonic games always rocked in the soundtrack. And don't get me started on Studiopolis from Sonic Mania. Mm, good music! Yep, they still got it. Yeah, but you don't. Hey. <laughs> Afterwards, Sonic was on the brain. I woke up Saturday mornings to watch Sonic X on Fox, played through Sonic Heroes with each team, and even got the spin-off titles like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Riders 1 on opening day. 
Well, just because I was hyped about these titles doesn't mean I still like them now. The gun mechanic of Shadow the Hedgehog was barely enjoyable, and the <laughs> after every hit annoyingly edgy, and Sonic Riders just had a few dodgy cutscenes and a little bit of uncomfortable animation. <sighs> I can still feel the marks in the palm of my hand from spinning the joystick as fast as possible. After that time, me and Sonic drifted off. Ah, I see what you did there. Right. I was usually behind on getting the next gen of consoles or handhelds, and while many games were produced, I didn't really pay attention to them outside of the Nintendo Power articles. And even then, my hype was pretty much gone. Since then, I went back to the older games, but not out of nostalgia. And not just the adventure series. What are you doing? But mainly no, no, because stop I... It. Ah! All right, I admit it. I never complete a 2D Sonic game. There, I said it. You happy now? Now the internet knows. Yes, it's true. The 2D side-scrollers were always tough on me. Even with Mario, I have a few I can claim I finished. But Sonic games always have the impression of high-paced excitement that takes physics by the horns, right? Uh, unless your name is Manac for Bricks and you can't jump good. Whether I played it years ago or just before this video, I always hit a wall in playing classic Sonic games. And I don't mean the barrel in Carnival Night Zone either. Some of you may remember my old gameplays in which I spent video after video backtracking to where I had a game over. And even then, I barely made progress. And it's not just me. I played Sonic Spinball with one of my friends and we were both stumped by the clunky controls and the movement. Ah, thank goodness for YouTube Let's Plays. With Sonic gameplay on Game Grumps and Super Beard Bros, I still found a way to enjoy the radical style of the blue blur without the personal case of Gerard Syndrome. That's being stuck in one spot in a game taking tons of lives to pass. So tell me now, how can you make a video about Sonic the Hedgehog when the majority of the games that you own, you've <sighs> Look, never beaten? I'm not saying it's a bad franchise. I know that there are black sheep and bugs that keep Sonic games consistently fun to play. I don't believe in a perfect Sonic game. But I do also know that at my level as a gamer, despite going into countless platformers, there are very few that I can finish. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are high on my list of favorite Sonic games, despite their age, because they're easier to play and explore, in my opinion. I haven't mastered them, but in general, I have a good time with them. So what you're saying is, you gotta get good with them. Well, yes, but even after his jump into 3D, I still enjoyed the iconography of Sonic the Hedgehog. It was catchy, unique, and admittedly more personality than our Nintendo plumber. That's why I was dedicated to the first few seasons of Sonic X when I was a kid. Heck, I still have the Game Boy Video cartridge that shows the first two episodes from the show. There's still a handful of Sonic games I haven't tried yet that I own. Some of which including Sonic Colors and the Sonic Gems Collection. <laughs> and yes, I have played Sonic 06 for those who are wondering, but Honestly, I was bored instead of terrified after the first few levels of gameplay and a lot of loading and cutscenes. Y yeah, yeah, we get the point. And maybe in the future I'll give those a chance, even Sonic 06, to see how horrible it actually is. With the hype of even watching Sonic Mania gameplay, I can say in my gaming history, Sonic is not dead in the water. Yep, I agree. Sonic's just dead in chemicals and blocks in Sonic 2. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this basically pilot episode of Gaming Dote. I still have a couple things in order to work out as far as the editing goes, but I hope you got the concept and are going to enjoy the rest of the series. I don't think every one of these is going to have my doppelgangers in it, but I think it's still fun to try to have that for just some extra entertainment. Um, I'm lo really looking forward to the next couple of episodes. I already have some scripts underway for them, and they will be airing a little bit later, more towards October. So if you'll bear with me, you'll get to see them at some point later on a more regular basis. Thank you for watching, and let me know if your experiences with Sonic the Hedgehog. Just keep it clean in the comments. Don't try to go after anyone that opposes what you think. Just keep it very nice and clean, as I know it is a controversial thing. We'll see you next time with more videos. Can you feel the sunshine?